This is Michaela McLean, and you're listening to Beauty by Design. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for being here. We are about to talk about Gate 16, and before we do, I just want to let you know about all the things that I have going on right now. Um, Of course, the place to start is getting your free guide, getting my free guide, getting your chart and basically knowing a few little nuggets about it. So the link is in show notes and in my Instagram bio at Michaela McLean, but that's the place to start. And that gets you signed up for my email list. Um, I keep threatening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send emails eventually. Um, but yeah, there's important stuff that's going to be coming soon. Very exciting things. So if you want to stay in the loop, that is the way to get on the list. Number one and number two, it's the guide is beautiful. It's been redesigned. Um, and like I said, it's just the place to give you the the first little nuggets, the first little breadcrumbs into starting your human design experiment. Um, and when you know which type you are, there are hyperlinks within the guide that is going to take you to the correct one hour, $11 or a type class. So those classes, I can't stress enough. They really are the firm foundation. It is not a one slide um, Instagram post that's like manifesting generators are this. It's like, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> Get an education, you know, um, again, can't stress that enough. Just invest the $11, you'll have it for good and you can always access it, um, rewatch it, revisit it. You're going to gain something new each time. So those classes take you through type, strategy, authority, not self-signature and deconditioning tips. So they are the foundation that you need to understand what we talk about here on the podcast um, and then everything going forward. And then from there, you can take my course, your energetic marketing guide, um, aka Human Design 101. So this gets you all of those classes plus so much more. So if you really do want to learn, learn it. Number one, learn it for yourself to understand how to market yourself energetically. Great if you kind of zoom out big picture and realize teaching you human design and you want to understand yourself and all of those around you. Maybe that's your patients and clients, family members, friends, whomever. Um, this is really taking you through all of that. So you get all of those aura type classes. And then we get into the six lines, the profiles, the centers, the gates, the channels, the circuitry, um, incarnation cross, you know, we touch on all of that. So I use different language for that. I call it your brand pillars, but that's what it is, your incarnation cross. Um, and then how to kind of start to synthesize it all together. So good stuff. Um, and then aside from that, oh, and then also I would say aside from that, my yoga nidras, but there is a yoga nidra within that course, as well as an exfoliation meditation. Those are great for you on a personal level, but also you can take them into your treatment room if you are in the treatment room. So lots there. Um, and then of course, so much more coming, so much more. Um, I am on the precipice of that, that new moon in Taurus, like really did something to me, something really exciting. And I did a little something outside of my comfort zone. I'm just teasing it all like right now. And I am, I feel like I'm sitting on a golden egg in a really strange way. Um, stuff that I've wanted for a long time and I've been preparing for, which actually is really in alignment with this episode that we're going to talk about, but you know, that, that constant refinement and alignment, um, and preparing yourself for opportunities. Yeah. So anyway, more to come, obviously so many things to get ready for, but yeah, hop on that email list, um, for, for the day that comes, I finally send one (laughs) and like I said, just stay in the loop. So Links are in the show notes, links over on Instagram at Michaela McLean. You can go give it a follow over there and let's get into the episode. Okay, so my little disclaimer, reminder, don't try to understand this at the mental level. That is not where human design is meant to be lived, 
Um, it is a very intellectual process. I will give you that. Um, I love it. I love studying all of that. But at the end of the day, it's meant to be lived in the body, in the cells. Okay. So let my voice, sound current, words that are chosen specifically, let it all sink into your cells like good skincare. Just relax and open your ears. You're going to understand what you need to know when you need to know it. You'll receive it when the time is right. Okay, so we are in Gemini season and we're moving into gate 16, which is located again in the throat. So we've got back-to-back -back throat gates during this, this time period, this, this time of the year. Um, and this one is part of the collective logic circuitry or the, you know, understanding, um, the more yang, cool-headed, future focused, the one that plans ahead, that side of the chart. This is the side that likes repeatable patterns that you can experiment with to improve upon. It's the logical left brain. And I already mentioned refinement and alignment. Um, that is what this side of the collective circuitry is about versus the creative experiential flow of the collective abstract, the sensing side. However, <laughs> this particular gate slash the channel that it is a part of is one of the creative channels in the chart. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go along. So starting with the center, the throat is the energy center for communication, self-expression, and manifestation. All energy in the chart is trying to make it to the throat to have something done about it, to like basically get out into the world and alchemize into something. Okay, so gate 16 is known as enthusiasm, the gate of skills. And the keynote here is I experiment or I identify or not to skillfully master something. And it's about pinpointing your special, your special uh, skill or skills and then devoting yourself to the craft until you have essentially become a master. So the low expression with this one is doubt, you know, being very self-critical over a fear of inadequacy. It'd be like, I'm not ready yet. You know, I haven't developed enough. I haven't practiced enough. I'm not perfect at this. Um, it can also be triggered when you don't have the support you need to hone your skills to perfection and then be recognized and invited to express them. The high expression is really giving yourself over to the thing that excites you um you know that whatever the thing is that you have true enthusiasm for something you find yourself really identifying with um again this is like serious pattern recognition here and that again the devotion the devotion to repetitively showing up um practice makes perfect that is this gate you know turning this natural talent or skill into art. It is constant, consistent refinement and alignment, rinse and repeat until it's perfect. Um, and it's also versatility, you know, the ability to be good at various things, as long as they interest you enough to devote yourself to them. So think about a dancer or a musician, you know, there's blood, sweat and tears here um and it's the practice hone skill to make it appear effortless so um i love the bruce lee quote i fear not the man who has practiced ten thousand kicks once but i fear the man who has practiced one kick ten thousand times so it's like you know the ten thousand hours to become you know an expert at something it's just like yeah you it's the time and the repetition that that just the, truly, again, the devotion, the commitment um, to something that you're, again, just willing to like throw yourself into it. I personally have this gate. It is my unconscious moon. So the moon in human design is considered a driving force. So I'm I'm unconsciously and even physically driven by gate 16. And I'm a 4-1 profile. So I'm meant to be really obsessive about specific things and in my entire life it's only ever been a couple of things right it was ballet and then it was skin and then later it became you know astrology and human design so it's a really i feel like i'm a really great example on a few levels of, of this where it's like 
I don't want to be good at all the things. I really don't care. I want to be the master of what excites me enough to make me jump out of bed every day. You know, the thing that is a true labor of love. Like I would do it all day, every day for free. That's, that is that, that enthusiasm that you're trying to, you know, pinpoint if you have this. So, and I always think about like, you know, growing up with ballet where I always loved a performance for sure, but it was really the day in day out of, of it that I really loved. Um, just being at the studio, being at the bar, going to the center, going across the floor, you know, the variations on the same things, these little micro improvements that you can see yourself your turnout improving, your posture, your extension, your, you know, like the number of rotations you can do in a pair of wet, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. It was like, oh God, you know, like the more you apply yourself, the better you're going to get. Um, and really it's like your cells are mutating into this new version of something. Um, so I always think like when the sun is the sun is in gate 16, it's a great time to reflect on your own natural talents and skills. Like what are you willing to channel all your time, energy, attention, devotion into? And if you have a true love and enthusiasm enthusiasm for something, just keep showing up, keep doing the work. You know, it's like with ballet, you know, ballerina is not born on the stage. She has spent her whole life in the studio. <laughs> Believe me, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours of, you know, classes and rehearsals and everything before any of that, you know, like what, what a person finally sees on stage is ever possible. Um, and that's really where you transcend it. You know, it's like, you're not dancing anymore. You have become the dance itself. And that would apply to, you know, anything that is like artistic like that, or even scientific. So, um, yeah, and, it, and there's a lot, sorry, a little side note here. There's so much in human design and the gene keys. You know, it's like seven-year process where your cells really like mutate and become something different. Um, and they're, you know, Saturn squares, squares its placement every seven years. And Saturn is about doing the work. Um, so just going to, you know, some, some little nuggets, some interesting correlations there. So in the gene keys, the shadow of this one is indifference. The gift is versatility and the city is mastery. So in the gene keys, Richard Red says the highest expression of the 16th key is mastery. And he says, you know, this whole like, you know, it's the gate of enthusiasm. And the word enthusiasm derives from the Latin and Greek meaning to be possessed by the breath of God. And every time this comes up, I'm just like, I love that so much. I love it so much because I feel it, you know? I'm like, I get that. I get, I get it. Clearly, it's in my, it's in my energetic DNA. And then um, to continue on of the gift, he says, to be versatile means to be multifaceted. It means we can easily transfer our talent across a number of fields. Once we've cracked through the resistance and our heart begins to warm, then we find self-discipline easy. It's not really possible to get to the highest frequencies without huge inner discipline, but the nature of this discipline changes as the frequency rises. It becomes easier. We have to begin with passion and focus, and then we'll find we have the energy necessary to follow through with things. The 16th key opens humanity up to so many creative possibilities. It's the domain of the polymath. I love this term polymath. It's fallen out of vogue these days, which I think shows our level of indifference. A polymath is someone whose wisdom spans many different fields of knowledge and endeavor. The term was coined during the Renaissance when certain, certain spirited individuals and geniuses dedicated themselves to higher knowledge and understanding over a wide range of fields from physical excellence to intellectual understanding. Okay, so notes here. This is part of a projected channel. So, of course, projector rules apply, seen, recognized, and invited for these talents, gifts, and skills. This is also a gate that needs outside material support so that it can focus on the studying, the practicing, the refinement of its craft. Um, so, it's, it's, there's a dependency, a dependent energy in this particular gate. You know, it needs to be recognized and nurtured. 
And I was thinking about that, you know, um, I was bringing my daughter home from ballet class the other night and we were joking around about something. And I was like, I remember when I was the kid, you know, and it's like, I'm in the car and all I'm, I'm, you know, I'm good at this. So I'm put in classes. My mom takes me to and from, you know, I go to auditions. It's like somebody has to be doing those things for you to, to develop all of that, you know, and, and so that, that's what it means. It's kind of, there's, there's this element of like, I want to be careful with my words, but being taken care of, because how else are you, how else are you supposed to, to support this? you know, like to develop these skills of saying, you know, instead from a young age, it was like, I had to go get a job or something and work because, you know, that was just like my, my home situation. It wasn't, I got to do these things. So I was able to develop these skills. So yeah, just anyway, a little more information on that one. So the programming partner, meaning the sun is in gate 16. The earth is automatically opposite in gate nine. That's Sagittarius. And nine is known as the taming power of the small, the gate of energy for detail, concentrated energy to establish a pattern. So it's known as the gate of focus. Um, and <laughs> the low expression of it is the inability to remain still long enough to focus on what is at hand, you know? Um, but the high expression is you can zero in on the important details and channel all of your energy into something incredibly powerful and worthwhile. Um, you know, where, where your attention goes, energy flows. And in the gene keys, he calls it the power of the impetismal. Again, um, little teeny tiny steps every day toward the goal. This is part of that same circuitry that we're talking about with gate 16. But they make an they make an interesting pair, you know, because this gate is definitely prone to distraction, trouble concentrating your energy. It's one that's associated with, you know, ADD, ADHD in theory, not diagnosing anybody, but if you have it, especially if it's hanging, it's like by itself, that can be potentially the case. Um, so yeah, like I said, they're just an interesting combination because it's like this ability to apply yourself and become a master, yet this difficulty maybe zeroing in on the thing or the things, the skills that you want to develop to become the master at them. Okay, so then the gate that completes the channel is Libra Gate 48, forming the channel of the wavelength, a design of talent. And 48 is known as the well, it's the gate of depth. And so this one is, you know, it's a fear of inadequacy, it's a spleen gate, um, the awareness of a potential solution or not, fear that you don't have enough depth or are seeking depth to resolve the fear. So these are people that just, there's always this kind of like lacking feeling like they're not enough in all the potential ways that you would feel like you're not enough. Um, and specifically, like you lack the skills, right? Because 16 has the skills, 48 has the depth. Um, so with these people, it's very important that they, you know, essentially recognize over their lifetime, they collect evidence that they really do have everything that they're ever going to need within them. You know, like collecting the proof. When I always talk about journaling, it's like writing these things down. It's like, hey, but I did a really good job at this. Or I you know, I accomplished that just to, just to kind of prove it to themselves that they, you know, they've got what they need. Um, so we've got 48 in the spleen connecting to 16 in the throat. And this is like 48 is the instinct, intuition, depth, the, you know, all of that good stuff connecting with the constant practice and the repetition of the skills, the talent. And so it's all reaching up to the throat to be expressed as art or science with the wider world to improve things for everyone. And astrologically, you know, this is the Libra and the Gemini, the 48 and the 16. This is an air sign trine. So very heady, very intellectual, which, you know, if you've got these gates and especially this channel, you know, it's like, okay, this is, this is going to benefit from having some sort of like support situation where again when i mentioned about like not having to be the one that's like necessarily the breadwinner that you've got this like space and support to perfect and hone your art or your craft your your science whatever it is 
because it takes time and dedication, right? And it's like, well, the bills still have to get paid. <laughs> it's like, don't expect me to be the one doing it until like I get to the, you know, I hit some threshold and and really am able to like kind of collect on this particular skill, talent, what have you. So um, the quarter of the wheel that this is happening in, this is the second quarter of civilization, purpose fulfilled through form or turning spirit into form. So again, letting it out, letting it be expressed once you practiced relentlessly and let it turn into something finally. So do you have this gate in your chart? It will be at the throat center on the left-hand side. So you'll see 16. And if it's black or red or red and black, that means you have it somewhere in your chart. It's defined some somehow. Maybe you don't have it. If you don't, it'll be white. But look at 48. 48 goes, you know, follow that trail down to the spleen on the left-hand side. Maybe 48's colored in. You'll get this whole channel for about six days time fun to observe see how it, how it helps you express yourself over the next six days you know because now you're getting a throat activation but even if you don't have it or don't have any part of it you'll still experience it through the transits or other people in your life but i'm always curious and feel free to hit me up on instagram and let me know okie dokie I will be back soon with more. If this episode was of value to you, I would love it if you would leave it a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to, to the show. Um, and if you would like to learn more human design, of course, check out the free guide, the $11 classes. You can do my course, your energetic marketing guide, aka human design 101. Um, and then the yoga nidra, all that good stuff. And I keep promising, but I'm like, there's some major stuff coming. Um, so just keep an eye out of, you know, new ways that you're going to be able to work with me. And you can follow me over on Instagram at Michaela McLean. And of course, until next time, have a beautiful day.